it's your girl fairy queens here and welcome back to another video how are you guys doing today i hope you're doing amazing today i'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a mini golf course it's super simple and super cute so all you are going to need for this to work is some custom designs some toy tires and whatever cute decorations you think would look good so to start off we are going to go to the able sisters store and we are going to access the internet custom designs and i'm going to be using a specific creator code for the mini golf code so if you guys would like to do this just follow along Then you can go ahead and save it. And then if you really want to, you could find yourself a sign. So I'll show you that in just a second. So as you can see, there is a mini golf sign here and a mini golf sign here. There's also one here. I don't really know which one I want to go for, honestly, because they're all super cute. But I think I might go with this one for a sign. And then I think I'm also going to get this one for a stall. Now go ahead and find yourself a nice little area where you would like your mini golf course to be. And once you start this up, go ahead and start the terraforming and just create a path. And it doesn't really matter what path you're using as long as it isn't the grass because clearly that wouldn't work. So I'm just going to use the dirt path. And it's really important to note that whenever you are creating your path, make it at least two spaces wide because if not, it's just not really gonna look good. Okay, and now that you have your first course complete, I know it doesn't look like much, but it is mini golf. So now we are going to go ahead and open up our custom design and get the custom design that you got earlier. So like I said, I am using the one that I mentioned with the creator code because whenever you apply this one to the path, it goes on very smoothly, as you can see. So look at that, look at the green, doesn't it look so good? Now you can decide where you want your hole to be. Okay, so now is where you are going to want to start placing your tires. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. Look at that! Isn't that cute? Okay, now get yourself another one. And there you have it! And if you feel the need to make your course a little bit longer or make some small alterations, you can literally do it whenever you feel like it. Like, there's no limit, it's so fun! So there you have it, there is your very first mini golf hole. And if you want to put some decorations down, like maybe a stall, let's go customize it! Now I'm going to place my stall down right here. Cute! Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. And I'm gonna put a sign over here for the mini golf. So to do that, you literally just go to custom designs, press on it, and then find your mini golf thing and press display here with a painting. And there you go! This is the course one! I really, really, really like it, but I'm not done. Did you really think I was going to leave it without some flowers? I mean, let's be real here. Okay, and now we are going to move on to the second course. So I'm going to show you some more ideas for your mini golf. Like I said, I want to do the two width blocks because I just feel like that makes way more sense and it looks a lot better in my opinion. Okay. 
And remember to curve the edges like this. And now you can start placing your fake grass down. If you have a hard time deciding where you want your hole to be, you literally might only have one option, so just go with whichever one works. You can also terraform some water next to it, so that way if they hit the ball in the wrong direction, they've gotta go get another one. It's funny because this mini golf course actually looks like a giant snake. Like, it's really, really cute. Or like a little caterpillar. It's so cute. What should we name him, guys? Leave a name for him down in the comments. Okay, so as you can see, I have two courses complete. Now, something that I find that works well if you would like to replicate a golf ball is you can literally just get a stone and drop it on there and it can kind of mimic the golf ball. Or if you want to, you can try to get a custom design. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the stone because I think it's creative. So here is my completed mini golf setup, and I would really, really love to add to this in the future whenever I can move some of these flowers down here because I would like to put one more course down here. But I hope that these ideas helped you. I really love the mini golfing in Animal Crossing New Horizons because I just think it adds so much life to your island. And you can literally use any furniture item that you want to and it makes sense. Also, if you guys have enough stones, I would highly recommend putting some up here to also mimic golf balls. So you could do something like this. Like that! Isn't that cute? It looks like a golf ball, except it's like, um, <laughs> it's like an ancient golf ball. But I think that it's cute, and I think that if you guys have enough stones, you should do something similar. If you want to. Obviously, if you don't like it, you definitely don't have to, but I like it. So let me know what you guys think about this mini golf course and this mini golf tutorial. Again, I am going to show the creator code for this mini golf path right on the screen right now. And this is the one that I use. So major shout out to them. Thank you for allowing us to use this. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you have any questions or need help with anything, don't be afraid to leave a comment and ask me and I promise I will respond to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!